Hi, my name's Christy and this is Lazy Owl Booktube channel. The finalists for the 2020 Hugo Awards for Best Fantasy and Best Science Fiction have recently been announced. So I thought I would have a look at the finalists and let you know the titles that interest me that I would like to read this year from some of the categories. As always, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified for when I post videos, please click the bell icon. So for those of you that are interested, I will post the link below for the Hugo Awards and you can have a look and see the different categories and the finalists and check out the different books for yourself as well. So we'll jump right in and we'll start with the best novel category. And what I'm going to do is just read for you the synopsis of the book that I have chosen uh, that I would like to read and give a go this year. If any of you have read any of these, please feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear from you and see what you thought of these books or if you think they sound interesting please comment I'd love to hear as well. So the first category that I'm going to have a look at is best novel and the book that I have chosen that I think sounds quite interesting is called The City in the Middle of the Night and it's by Charlie Jane Anders. So I'll just read the synopsis for you now. If you control our sleep, then you can own our dreams, and from there it's easy to control our entire lives. Set on a planet that has fully definitive, never-changing zones of day and night with ensuing extreme climates of endless, frigid darkness and blinding, relentless light, humankind has somehow continued apace. Though the perils outside, the built cities are rife with danger as much as the streets below. But in a world where time only means what the ruling government proclaims and the levels of light available are artificially imposed to great consequence, lost souls and disappeared bodies are shadow bound and savage and as common as grains of sand. And one such pariah sacrificed to the night but borne up by time and a mysterious bond with an enigmatic beast will rise to take on the entire planet before it can crumble beneath the weight of human existence. Wow, that sounds so interesting. You can see why I've picked that as one of the books that I would like to read. To be honest, all the books in the category sounded quite interesting. So that one I definitely want to give a go this year. What I'll also mention is one of the books that was in this category is Gideon the Ninth, which I read very recently and quite enjoyed. So that's another pick in case you wanted to have a look at what's on the list and what's not too bad. The second category that I'm looking at is Best Series. And the book that I have chosen is called Encrypted and it's by Sean and Maguire. I have read a couple of Sean and Maguire's books and I quite enjoyed. I didn't pick this particular book because it was written by her specifically. I picked it because it just sounded like such an interesting book. So I'll read that synopsis for you now. So it starts off with Cryptid Noun. Any creature whose existence has not yet been proven by science. See also monster cryptozoologist. Noun. Any person who thinks hunting for cryptids is a good idea. See also idiot. Ghoulies, ghosties, long-legged beasties. Things that go bump in the night. The Price family has spent generations studying the monsters of the world working to protect them from humanity and humanity from them. Enter Verity Price. Despite being trained from birth as a cryptozoologist, she'd rather dance a tango than tangle with a demon and is spending a year in Manhattan while she pursues her career in professional ballroom dance. Sounds pretty simple, right? 
it would be if it weren't for the talking mice, the telepathic mathematicians, the asbestos supermodels and the trained monster hunter sent by the Price family's old enemies, the Covenant of St. George. When a prize girl meets a covenant boy, high stakes, high heels and a lot of collateral damage are almost guaranteed. To complicate matters further, local cryptids are disappearing, strange lizard men are appearing in the sewers and someone spreading rumours about a dragon sleeping underneath the city. So that sounds pretty interesting to me. It sounds like it's a bit of fun. So I read a lot of uh, fantasy series and... Uh, a lot of the time they are quite serious whereas this sounds a little bit more light-hearted it sounds like it's got a little bit of humor the other category that I looked at was best graphic novel so there were a few books in this particular category that I have read before so I picked one that I have read and I really enjoyed so that graphic novel is Die, Volume 1, Fantasy Heartbreaker. And I have mentioned this particular graphic novel in my first uh, comic book review video. So check that out if you want to hear a little bit more about it. But I will read the synopsis of that one for you as well. The Wicked and the Divine writer Kieran Gillen teams up with artist Supernova Stephanie Hands for her first ongoing comic. Die is a pitch black fantasy where a group of 40 something adults have to deal with the returning unearthly horror they only just survived as teenage role players. If Kieran's in a rush he describes it as goth Jumanji but that's only the tip of the obsidian iceberg. So these are my top picks for those three categories. If you are interested, please have a look at the link below, check out the categories for yourself and let me know what your top picks are. As always, thank you for watching and if you enjoyed my video, please remember to like and subscribe and if you'd like to know when I post videos, please click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.